Hey, good morning. I wanted to spend a few minutes today focusing your attention on the concept of energy sinks and energy wells. For uh, nutrition, for health, for diet, for physics, for biology, scientists can calculate down to uh, several tenths of a degree the calories that we that, we, that are in the food that we use for fuel and the value that that has for us in putting that into our systems because our body uses that as an energy source and it um, that energy gets stored it gets used it used for a variety of reasons but there are other sources of energy that we can pull from just like that there are other sources of energy that pull energy for from us you all have an example in your life of the person that sucks energy from you. <clears throat> and it's important to think about what kind of energy that is because there is physical body energy, there is emotional energy, and there is intellectual energy. And those all have different uh, mechanisms for which they are added to us or taken away from us. You all know an emotional vampire that leaves you emotionally drained when they walk away from an interaction with you. You also all have an example in your life of some form of an intellectual zombie who once you feel dumber after interacting with, they have eaten your brains out of your head. Just like there are energy sinks that take that energy away, we all have energy sources independent of the fuel, the food that we put in our bodies. Um, on a kind of a silly note, some of us are solar powered and sitting out in the sunshine or at the beach recharges us, not only physically, but emotionally and intellectually. What are the things that you have in your daily life that are sinks and wells? Where do you go to to recharge yourself intellectually, emotionally, and physically? Because those might be three different sources. It might be that going and talking to a friend is an emotional well. It might be that talking to a different friend is an emotional sink and that you have to be careful of how much energy you put into that system before all of your energy is gone. Take some time this week to think about where are the sources of, of energy that you pull from and where are the sinks that you give energy to. And the idea of this is not necessarily to never give energy away. It's a healthy thing to give and take from the systems around us in um, not in an extreme way. So the concept of never giving up energy isn't necessarily a healthy one. But who are the energy sinks? What are the things that you do that take effort and that drain you? And how do you personally recharge? For the extrovert, the extroverts out there, being with a group of people is a very recharging experience. That's not recharging for the introvert who needs to sit and be still and be quiet to recharge. And how is emotional recharging different than intellectual recharging? And where are the places that you do that? It might be that the way that you're trying to recharge, in terms of eating that entire stack of Oreos to, reach, to try to recharge physically, is actually an emotional drain that you're trying to fill, and it's not being filled in a healthy way. Take some time to think about this week. that this week. Where are you being drained and where are you being recharged? And what do you need to do specifically for you to make that happen? I'm John Rhodes, and I hope you're able to find purpose and meaning in your day today.